My name is Tamara Galloway and my research focus is in marine pollution. When I say marine pollution to you, what you probably think about is something like pesticide spray, something toxic, but what you may not think about is plastic. But if you go to any beach anywhere in the world, what you'll probably step over is plastic waste. I can show you some examples of things that we've found. So what you can see here are some of the tiny fragments of plastic. We can see some red plastic that's probably come from a milk bottle top and some little films of plastic that have come from plastic bags. And you can also see these little round objects, they're called nurdles. And nurdles are interesting because they're the form of plastic that's transported around the ocean and find them washed up on just about any beach. What I've also got here are some shower gels. Uh, they contain microbeads and the microbeads are there for a very particular reason. They're there to exfoliate our skin and make our skin feel soft and fresh. But what happens to the microbeads after we wash the shower gel down the sink is that they enter the sewage system. And a lot of them will wash straight through the sewage system out into the sea. So a lot of the plastic in the ocean, we've actually designed it, we've made it to be of a very small size. So one of the main questions is whether life in the ocean is actually ingesting any of these plastics. And that's the focus of a lot of the studies that we've been doing in the aquarium. What you can see here is that these animals have been um, incubated um, alongside microbeads and we've been seeing whether they can ingest them or not. And by switching on the fluorescence microscope, we can see the tiny microbeads present in the water column here. And we can also see that the zooplankton have been eating the microbeads and they've accumulated them in their digestive tract. This means that there's plenty of time for any chemicals associated with those microbeads to transfer into the tissues of the zooplankton and thus, anything that eats the zooplankton will also ingest those chemicals and the microbeads. This is one of those really easy problems to address. If we didn't throw so much stuff out into the ocean, we wouldn't have such a problem in the first place. So what we need to do is to be able to produce sound scientific evidence to support the policymakers who want to help us reduce the amount of waste that we're chucking out into the ocean. And that's what hopefully the research in our laboratory is doing.